Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kenny here. And today I wanted to go over Stitch Fix real quick, just how I'm trading and how I'm looking at it. So right now, as you look at the chart, we're up about 39.24% after hours. So the, what we were looking at yesterday is we wanted it to um, to play it on the open and hit 52 and then sell. Uh, it worked. Um, so we got a, a decent chunk there. And then we kind of waited it out. Uh, we re-entered down here. Uh, we wanted 48 to hold. It held. Everything's going according to plan. Um, but that said, this is a pure sentiment play now based on kind of the markets, kind of what's going on. So with the sentiment play, how do we play it, right? So I have this little dotted line back here, and it's a little bit conservative. This is basically the shelf life of sentiment. And you're like, Kenny, how did I measure that? Well, there's been white papers written about it. In fact, there's a Bloomberg paper that was done a while back. Uh, this is kind of the the outputs of, of the, low, the smaller cap Russell index. There's more. I'm just kind of abstracting it and showing you just the highlights. So basically, you know, at the five day mark, you know, you relatively get rid of all the sentiment when it comes to whatever the news is. So we'll want to either see more news tomorrow to reset this cycle. But if not, you know, like I said, I'm on the conservative side. So I'm saying about two or three days. My point here is this little dotted line would suggest that if we don't make a move to the upside uh, and, and break 52, by this day, which is December 11th, then just forget about it. So December 11th is the Friday, which makes it even better because you don't want to hold over the weekend. So I'm looking for a push to 52 and for it to go up. If it doesn't do it by uh, the 11th and we don't get any new news here uh, uh, to help it out, then we'll go ahead and get out. The other point uh, to this whole thing would be the fact that um, I think in terms of volatility, yeah, 5.64 over here we're showing um, for the weekly. Yeah, so that's the noise, uh, and we have plot down here. Hopefully that, yeah, we clear that. Okay, so so this is our stop right now. I think 47 is a good level. Not only is it a pretty decent psychological number, but if it gets past there, there really is no support. I mean, you have this maybe, but that's that's ridiculous. No support in the near term. Yeah, you can't go back. You'd have to go back really far to find any support there. So, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of, there's not a ton of pressure. Uh, what's the short interest look like? Mm, really over here. Where is it? Ooh. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, with that much pressure, what did the volume do? Did it spike? Hmm. More volume for sure. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, with that much short pressure, I'm surprised that uh, short interest, I'm surprised that we didn't get more of a more pressure here. So it's definitely holding. So it's pretty strong. So we got to see, we got to see if that resolves itself. And if not, um, we're going to need a bunch of news to, to push this up or just watch it. If it fades tomorrow, um, even if it just sticks around here, uh, again, just giving it till the 11th. Um, but if, if it fades really badly or it goes completely sideways, sideways is okay. But if it starts to fade and we don't get any news tomorrow, probably just going to sell out of the position anyways. All right, that's how I'm looking at it. Do have a long-term position on this anyway. I'm just talking about how I want to trade this. So I think as, in terms of long-term, if you're holding for like years, I think this is still a good play. Um, it's got a lot to, I mean, it's speculative, of course, but, you know, still still rather rather um, happy with uh, what I'm seeing, especially right now. Again, I think for sure we've been looking for something good to happen with Stitch Fix, and I think this is the first kind of um, reinforcing <laughs> kind of metric that's going to help us with this. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked what you saw, click some buttons, help me out. See you tomorrow.